Hey there everyone, this is Cypher, going back to my playthrough of Adrian Odyssey 3. In this part, we're going to continue exploration of the 17th floor, hopefully getting to at least the last section of it, or, you know, at, the goal is either this shortcut or another shortcut of connecting to the area, just so long as I make progress, we'll be fine. And also, I'm going to talk about something I learned, um, you know how they always call it the Adrian Thread? Well, that is technically incorrect. I just call it an Adrian Thread because I always, uh, in my mind, I always swap the D around with an R, but it's actually the Radney thread. Uh, here, let me show you. It's actually called the Radney thread. It's a Greek name. Um, go to Wik if you want to learn more about the Radney thread and how it, what it's re what it really means. Go to Wikipedia and type in a Radney thread, and in parentheses logic, and that will get you in. Or you can in a Google search just type in a Radney thread, and that and you'll learn something that I I actually learned something. I didn't know what an Aradne thread was, and now I know. It's just, really, I just stumbled upon it in my game. It's like, wait a second, I always mix up the DNR. What is, is this really? And I checked it out. Um, I hate no radar rooms, because even though it's checkmarked, it doesn't move along, which is another annoyance of it being a no radar room. But anyways, go over here, and there is a shortcut to a treasure room that I missed last time. Re leads straight to a chest with something in it. Let's check it out. Just quickly get these walls in. And we have a Medica 4. He was a lot of HP. And a group of three rotten fruits. Uh, I'll just set up an epic charge and blow these away the next turn. Otherwise they're not, I don't think they'll be a problem. As I said, epic charge binary and I solved all problems. And awesome. It's technically cheaper for me to use the Ethic Charge and then a Binary Ice and then, uh, then two Binary Ices for these teams, so I'm gonna have to remember to do that. No, I, I think I was pretty lazy about it in the previous part. That's also another thing you need to clean up by this round, is if you have any laziness factors, try to get that cleaned up too, because you're gonna need to be focused. Oh man, all these walls everywhere makes me think there's a shortcut at any given turn. Reality, I just like this is why I like checking back the second time because there's no indication early on like in the first two stratums So you just have to kind of keep keep your eyes peeled and When you warp around the wall you've already been around just kind of check it out and see if you can find anything The quest in these on this stratum is also extremely interesting I don't remember exactly what they involve, but you're good. I think they'll be good. Oh boy tree rats and rotten fruit um, fair warning, I did not, oh, I did not sell myself for the previous part, so I'm still kind of under-weaponed. Which I don't know why I just said that as a warning, but, oh well, see you guys in, like, 10 seconds. And Zero to level 60. Wow, Zero, you're just on the fast track of getting these prophecies, or what? Okay, we got all the stars to three. Mm. We'll bump up. Yeah, I'll just bump up fire. So I'm gonna get all the stars. In it. And for those of you who don't know what the prophecies do, uh, the prophecies are neat for a zodiac to go to. I usually get them done last because I think everything else before the prophecies are a little more important, like getting her evasion up and getting the etheric charge and all that jazz. I think that's all more important than getting the prophecy, in addition because it gives you time to get rap, uh, get a lot of TP, so you can use these higher cost skills. Oh, right, the white flower signify, uh, no radar room. Uh, yeah, we'll tackle, we'll tackle it now. Okay, it starts off boss down in here. And yeah, I hate the, what I don't like about these radar rooms, because I know I'm going to have to go slow in them in order to focus on them and talk at the same time. So if I go into a silent spell, please forgive me. <laughs> okay, so right in the middle of this passage... You also have to remember to move the map along with you. So we're going to go north first. So let's go this way. And this goes in a circle. No, it leads to an exit. Actually, I don't know if that's where the door is. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, that was fast. Where... 
did the other one also lead to a door, or am I... Oh, great. Now I'm confused, because I haven't played this game in a long time. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's go this way. This way looks like a lot of fun. Okay. Just It just wraps around. Doing labyrinth stuff. No, nothing's popping up. Nothing's being interesting. I'm gonna keep my eye out on the walls. And another raging boar. Let's see if I can find this weakness without instant killing it this time. But of course I'm still gonna attack with Mina. Because I don't attack with Mina. What am I doing? Bull rush. Essentially attacks a row very strong and then it hurts himself. He's not weak to fire, so... That's nice to know. Is he weak to ice? No, he probably won't... No, he's not weak to ice either. Okay. Fire and ice were just out the window. But he did seem to take a lot of damage from him regardless. Maybe it's just because there is level 60. And there's the iron tusk I was talking about too. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm like confusing you by turning around so much. It's just I'm checking for shortcuts and that's how I usually do it. Just by swinging around randomly. Uh, is this just going to loop? I'll cut out if it is a loop, and if not, we'll just continue. It was a loop, and I didn't find any shortcuts on the edges, so let's just continue on. Oh boy. This is going places. War Raging Boar, is it weak to Volt? If not, the rest of the fight's getting cut out. That is, mean it doesn't instantly kill it before you get anything done again. <sighs> Thank you, Mina. No, I really like the fact that she instant kills these things, but it kind of blots on... No, oh, hey, look, another no radar. Okay, there has to be a shortcut in the northern side of this room connecting to the rest of this, or at least the southern. I'm gonna check these walls for shortcuts. I'll be with you in a second, no radar room. Ooh, boy. No, there's no shortcuts up there, and uh, that entire area is unmapped, and I'm gonna have to go map it later. <laughs> Oh well, don't don't be surprised if I wait until like the end to get that little those areas done. Just don't be. I'm gonna avoid the no radar as long as I can. That lasted for that lasted pretty long. Uh, we got an event. Let's walk down a passage to the shining forest to find something gleaming at the end. What looks like a broom waving softly in the wind is a plant known as pompous grass. That's important for our quest. After gazing at the grass for a while, you return to exploration. It's okay, we're just gonna need to remember that this is the pompous grass and that it's required for a quest later. So, it has been marked. I'll just mark it as pompous. And... Yeah, I guess we'll go through another no-radar that might sure, why not. Yep. Ah, oh, jeez. So many no-radar rooms. Okay, I've walked two steps from the door, so I'm right here. It takes a hook, like this. It is extremely easy to get lost. But as I said, I seem to have an affinity for knowing where I am by using landmarks like intersections and distances. Even though it's really hard to tell distances with the reflective floor. I think they made this hard on purpose, I wonder why. <laughs> not Probably not because it's the fifth stratum. That's just silly. Oh hey! I didn't think it would appear on this floor, but we uh, meet the white fox. This is the pair I'm gonna, I said that was going to be threatening. Is that this will raise, uh, this will lower your volt resistance, and this will kill you. So I'm gonna attempt a binary ice and have everyone aim at the fruit in hopes of it of getting rid of it before that happens. He has a this one has a single hit thunder attack that does a lot of damage. Um, one we meet later is gonna have a slightly weaker one that hits everyone. It's not weak to ice, is it? I think it's weak to fire, if I recall correctly. No, it's not. If it's weak to its own element, that'll be strange, so I'm just gonna say it doesn't have an elemental weakness. But if we run into it again, I'm not- I'm gonna go ahead and try. Oh boy. Also remember to scroll the map down with you, otherwise you're gonna get a little confused as well. Alright, this intersection, and this might just go in a circle. This looks like it's going in a circle. Ooh boy. Only slightly confusing. Checking for shortcuts in this area later is going to be a nightmare, so if you- especially if there's any shortcuts relating to this area, may be worthy of knowing. Oh, we're actually almost to that shortcut and I can- oh, hey, yeah. Awesome. Uh, I don't know where I, the door is. I think it's- yeah, okay, awesome. Oh boy, we're almost to the- nope, no, we still have plenty of floor left. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll accept the Pompas gra uh, Grass quest next time, and we'll be able to get that done really fast. 
otherwise, I think now is as good of a time as any to get this shortcut out of the way. Well, hey guys. This has been my freaking as always. I thank you for watching. I know we only did a little bit of this, but you know what? I have s such a little amount of time that I'm going to go ahead and get this nice and cleaned up, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, another new set. Tree Rat with the Fox. I'm going to try Binary Thunder and see where that gets me. Okay. Nowhere. Awesome. Alright, let's continue mapping this little area. This looks like it's just another loop. Yeah, there's no shortcuts connecting anything, so... I guess all that's left is the no-radar zone that we uh, ran into earlier. Well, both of them. Alright, so first off, we have this upper area at this top intersection. Goes like this. It loops around, and where's it going? It goes straight to a dead end. With a event on it? Oh boy. I can't withhold my enthusiasm. Oh, it's a shortcut into a small treasure room. How nice of it. And in this box, we have a... And we get a three! See you guys in the next point of interest. <laughs> this set's insane. But it's nothing you haven't seen before. I'm just gonna have to be careful about it. I'll launch a binary ice and have them focus on the fruit first. And see where that gets me. You try killing the fox. Oh boy. Fun. No, I just said that a binary, an ethic charge before the binaries would be, have been more effective, and I ignore my own advice, so... <sighs> Go me. See you guys in a sec. Oh, and the white fox drops its fur. Anyways. Alright, back in no radar zone, we go on. It goes this way, and it goes to another den, and probably leading to another treasure room. I'm surprised I missed these, but you know what? I'm actually not surprised. I'm thinking my subconscious must have led me through the maze. Might've, just might've. And we run into another raging boar! Is it weak to bolts? We may never know. <laughs> Let's check. It is not! It is neutral to all the elements, except this still takes like 200 damage from them compared to all these physical attacks. Maybe it's just because they're strong. And let's see what the treasure in this room is. A uh, metal kaisuku. That sounds like a weapon. Sounds like a... katana, but it isn't. Uh, can anyone use this? No. What did I just... Ugh, items. Metal, 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 metal. Oh. It's a... Mace. With limit. All over it. Oh, right. Also, one more thing. Back in the Moon Door episode, I spaced out. This is where the critical hammer was. And that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to do. I'll just go ahead and clean up this floor's map and show it to you in a few seconds. Alright, that's everything. Hey guys, as, uh, as always, I thank you for watching. I'm gonna say bye now. Bye, see you guys later.